Then other Jews were jealous. So they rounded up some bad characters from the marketplace. They formed a mob and they started a riot in the city. They rushed to Jason's house in search of Paul and Silas in order to bring them out to the crowd. And when they did not find them, they dragged Jason and some other believers before the city officials, shouting, These men who have caused trouble all over the world have now come here. And Jason has welcomed them into his house. They're all defying Caesar's decrees, saying that there is another king, one called Jesus. And when they heard this, the crowd and the city officials were thrown into turmoil. And then they made Jason and the others post bond, and they let them go. You know what? I, I just This just hit me when I was reading verse 7. Not in your notes. It just hit me. You know what's interesting? They, they, they appealed. They appealed. They appealed to the city officials with their ego and their standing. In other words, you've got Caesar's blessings, Mr. City Official, while these people are saying that there's someone else. So that threatens you. See what they did? They distorted. They distorted the message to try to convince somebody that it was wrong. Does this still go on today? These people, that, that is hate speech. That's what, that, see? See the distortion? Well, you just hate. I've had people tell me that. You just hate people. No, I, I don't hate anybody. I don't have the energy to hate people. That takes a lot of energy. Hate takes a lot of effort. Too much. It's a lot easier to love. It really is a lot easier to love than hate, but that's another, that's another Bible study. So that's how they appealed. Persecution will always distort the message to give the persecutors an advantage. Usually an emotional, because they won't have a scriptural advantage. They will seek an emotional advantage advantage. Man, this is just so good because that's precisely what they do. Instead of talking scripture, even some of the church, instead of talking scripture, they will appeal to an emotional argument to try to make their point. And when that is done, you need to realize that you are now on two different planets. You are coming from a biblical worldview. They are coming from a an entirely different worldview, and the two just do not come together. And that's what happened. They made this all about a geographical governmental takeover. And Paul's saying, no, no, I'm, I'm not here to take over your city. I'm here to tell you that the Messiah is Jesus Christ. Jesus. 